Winter mountain biking can be cold, wet, muddy, and you have to clean up loads of stuff afterwards, so it can be hard to find the motivation to go and do it. So here are some hacks to make your winter mountain biking life just a little bit easier. Cold, wet feet are miserable, so in winter I like to run merino socks. Uh, they keep your feet warm even if you do get a bit wet. Plus you can get shoes like these Shimano AM9s that have got that sort of waterproof flap over the top to stop the worst of the splashes coming through. Because sometimes it's not just from the rain coming down, it's from actually the trail coming up. And you'll find your back foot often when you smash through the puddles, get soaking wet. So shoes like this can really help. But there is a nice hack for waterproofing any pair of shoes. And it involves a good old roll of duct tape. Although I'm using Gorilla Tape, which is super sticky, I actually wouldn't recommend this. I'd probably recommend going for something that isn't quite as grippy as this stuff wrap uh, a layer right around just the top of the sole. Obviously that's rubber, so that's waterproof anyway. All the way around the shoe to join it back up so it sticks onto itself. Voila. There you go, a waterproof set of shoes. This used to be super popular back in the early 2000s on the downhill scene because everyone had rubber shoes. Racing downhill, you just duct tape over top, Waterproof shoes, there you go. This is obviously just for illustration purposes only. Make sure you've got your foot in it if you're doing this, because now it's so tight, I'll never get my foot in it. Now, similar theory and uh, similar materials. Well. I've got electrical tape this time, but this is to tape up the vents on your helmet. So obviously they're there to uh, let the air in and cool your head down in summer times. But if it's raining or if it's really cold, then you can use this tape. I'm using electrical tape this time rather than gaffer tape, so it's a bit easier to get on and off. It's not going to damage your helmet. I'm just going to fill in the vents so I've got almost a bit of a hat. Waterproof hat on top of my head. This tip actually came from a commenter on our, one of our videos called Christian Snyder, who said about taping up the vents on the front of your helmet to stop that wind chill from coming in and get your head cold. These little plastic mud guards that sort of strap underneath your fork are amazing. I actually think they look pretty good as well, so I run one of these most of uh, the time all year round. You can buy these on the GMBN store. This is actually a PT's one, so super cool. I'm gonna stick this on my new bike. Uh, but you can make these out of a sheet of plastic as well. We've done that in the past using a plastic milk carton, and they work really well. Sometimes in the worst of winter, when it's really wet, um, I'll actually go for a longer mud guard, which you can't really make yourself. They're made out of molded plastic. So that's what I say for like the worst of the conditions. But a front mud guard of any sort really does make a big difference. Now, if you ride a lot in winter and you're getting wet shoes, sticking them back on is horrible. So you can either go old school, wrap up some uh, newspaper and stuff them in, stick them in front of the fire, does work pretty well. Or you can go a bit more new school and get some of these things that are kind of like uh, dehumidifiers, got some of that kind of funny stuff inside, you know, like the gel or whatever it is. You slide those into your shoes, they do work pretty well, you still need to heat your shoes somehow. But then you can go next level and you can get on yourself onto Amazon and get some of these, which are proper plug-in electric uh, boot dryers that also have a timer on them. Super cheap, about 20 pounds, and I find these are actually really good. I'll always layer up for winter rides. So underneath my jersey, I've got a windproof layer and then a jersey over top. So it's kind of nice and windproof on the front, breathable on the back. Plus, if it's a bit colder, if it's raining, I'll stick a waterproof jacket over top. And then if I'm sticking a waterproof jacket over top, need extra layer, I will tuck my jersey in as well. Feels like you get a better layer of insulation, but also then doesn't get covered in mud. So I'll zip my stuff up. Then when I get home, rather than chucking my really muddy stuff straight in the washing machine, it will wreck your washing machine eventually, I'll actually stick my trousers and my jackets on my outside layers onto my wheelie bin outside the house, hose them down, uh, let them dry off for a bit, and then chuck them in the washing machine. A set of warm and weatherproof winter gloves is really nice, but I still like to wear a really thin set of gloves. And you can get these sort of technical gloves that are really good. And I'll save these for winter. I don't use them in summertime. And they've actually lasted me a few sort of winter seasons now. Super thin, not crazy waterproof, but they do the trick. Uh, the cheaper alternative, uh, if it's cold and wet out there, you can actually use marigolds underneath your normal gloves, uh, which do keep them warm and dry, but they may get a little bit sweaty.
I like to use a mobile battery washer to wash my bike after the ride before I stick it back into the van. Uh, and also dry it off and lube it up so it's ready for the next ride straight away. It's nice being able to take the bike home and put it straight in the garage, but also keeps the back of my van from being super dirty as well. I've got a water container that's an old ad blue container that I fill and take with me as my water bowser. And then I use a works hydro shop that does the job. Pairing a set of riding glasses with a clear lens and your homemade mudguard is the winning combo for riding in the winter, just so you can see where you're going. Uh, but also I have actually scratched my eye a couple of times just with muddy water getting in my eyes. So something that I always do now when I get out in the winter. Plus these glasses, you can change them out for a tinted lens so I can use them all year round. If you don't want to get changed out your clothes in the cold and wet, you just want to get home, uh, then a proper waterproof seat cover for your car is essential, I reckon. Right, brushes and rags, really good for washing your bike, but I actually go for a couple different options. So I've got Petey's brushes here, which are sort of specific for the job, but anything works really. But what I'd say is a soft brush is really good for cleaning your bike mostly, and then I'll use a really stiff brush for the drivetrain. So also with cleaner, so you see your average bike cleaner for most of the bike, and then degreaser for the chain, especially in winter, if you're using thicker lube, your chain and cassette, you need a proper clean after every ride. So get a degreaser on there, and then that's where you want the really stiff brush to really work off all that sticky lube. Wash it off, and then again, I have a clean drying rag, which is this super nice soft bamboo one, and I have a dirty rag. Your dirty rag, simply for the chain, so it's gonna get oily, don't worry about that. I try and keep this one without oil if I can and just use that for the rest of the bike. If you're getting changed to the car park, then one of these big uh, bags is amazing for standing in to get changed, so you, you can actually not get completely covered in mud whilst you're doing it. Leave your dirty kit in there. And I have one of these uh, surf changing robes so you're not uh, exposing yourself in public as well. All right, there's some of my ideas for some winter hacks to make my winter ride in life just that little bit more tolerable. Let me know if you've got any good ideas. Stick them in the comments section down below.